Okay, in this one, I'm going to summarize what we did to increase the efficiency of this oil furnace. So we started out with, uh, oh, let's see, 52% excess air, 638 uh, on the stack, 7.5 in the O2. And we ended up with an efficiency of 74%. Well, the first thing we did is I just tried lowering the pump pressure. And now, pretty much know that lowering the pump pressure is going to reduce efficiency. But let's see what it did. Okay, you can see here we've knocked the pressure down to 75 pounds. Now let's take a look at the efficiencies we got out of the burner. Okay, here's the numbers we got on this, 9.302, 617, which is a little lower uh, stack temp, 76% uh, excess air, really high. Uh, this is after I've cleaned up the burn on this thing. So uh, uh, let's take a look and see what we got for efficiency out of this. Okay, we ended up with 72%, which went down uh, 2%. Now, stack temperature went down, but that's just because I had to add so much excess air in there that it cooled down the flame. Of course, that's going to reduce the stack temperature. So let's see what we can do next. Okay, the next thing we did was we raised it from 100 pounds up to 165 pounds. And then we did combustion analysis uh, at that pressure. And we got a little bit of a surprise. Now you can see the efficiencies better. We're at 75% and our O2 is 4.6%. Now this is all with a clean smoke. Uh, but what really threw us was a stack temperature. Now the stack temperature is 728. I was 618 with 75 pounds uh, of pressure. The excess air was 25%. Uh, so that's not too bad, but here's what our problem was. The furnace is rated for 0 0.70 gallons per hour. With the increased pressure, we, uh, the 0.65 became a 0.86 nozzle so the nozzle is too big for the furnace and now we're going to go to a little bit smaller nozzle a little bit wider spray too and then we're going to check the efficiency with this nozzle okay our pressure is still 165 uh, remember later on we did have a seal fail in this pump so uh, maybe that's not a good idea and here we come to the combustion analysis. So we ended up with about 4% and 75% efficiency. So we didn't really make a lot of difference on this thing. Our stack temperature was also uh, about the same as it was before. So then we decided to really reduce the nozzle size. Okay, because we want to reduce the size of this nozzle, we're going to have to change the combustion chamber too. Now this is a 0.60 maximum combustion chamber and I'm going to be using a 0.4 nozzle in it. We also had to change the burner head. You can see we had the head on the left, I think it was a 0.75 to 1.25, it's an FO3. And then we've got the other head and that's an FO0. And that one's one we're going to use because it's 0.4 to 0.7. So those are the two changes we make. Okay, the efficiency test. We come out with a little bit better numbers this time. We ended up with a 0 0.4 80 degree A nozzle, which is right about 0.5 with the, the 125 pound pressure that we ended up. You can see that there. And now our efficiencies are, well, let's look at 5.8802, 82 percent uh, combustion efficiency, stack temperature 
stack temperature 452, 35% excess air. Uh, that's about as good as it's ever going to get. So it's 82%. We've got pretty clean oxygen, fairly good stack. Uh, just remember, if you're going to do this, this is fairly extensive to do. And you have to match everything up. You know, the nozzles have to be matched with the combustion chamber size and the, the head has to be right. So all these things have to kind of work together. And uh, if you want to, you can get a little better efficiency. We went from about 74 to 82% efficiency. So that's the results of getting the best efficiency I can off the old oil furnace.